Hello friends, today we are going to understand very important configuration files in web methods. These configuration files are responsible for launching and monitoring JVM. In addition to this, it is also logging console output and generating thread dumps. So these configuration files are wrapper config and custom wrapper config. So the location of these files are your installation directory, profile, default, configurations and here you can see two files custom wrapper config and wrapper config so let's open wrapper config so wrapper config file contains property settings that are installed by installation server and the very important point about this file is it must not be modified we should not change the property of these files uh, now we will see custom uh, custom wrapper config so let's open this file. So here, custom wrapper config contain properties that modify the installed setting in wrapper config. So we should not change the properties of the wrapper config file. Instead of that, if we want to, if we want to override the properties of wrapper config file, then we should, we should do it in custom wrapper config. Now let's say Java version is updated and we want to change the Java location. Then what we will do, we will simply copy this property and then we'll put it into our custom wrapper config and we can give our java installation path here now let's say if we want to change the jvm heap size then what we will do we will simply modify these properties max memory and init memory as per our requirement and then we have to save this file and we have to restart the server now let's say if we want to change the default port from 555528080 then what we will do we will simply add a new properties in this format wrapper app parameter n and switch so this means here n means the next unused sequential number and switch switch means switch is a command and then we have to give one more param one more property like wrapper app parameter n and switch parameter so switch parameter means value of this particular switch we will simply add following properties to custom wrapper config so we'll go we'll paste here and here 7 is not used and even 8 is not used we'll save this and we'll restart our server and we'll check whether integration server listen to the port 8080 or not now here we can see that our server is started now go to the browser and we'll see whether integration server starts on 8080 port or not now here we can see that we'll get the login screen and here we can see that we are able to login into the integration server as well so this way we can change jvm parameters and change is port i hope you find the video helpful and if you like the video then please do like share and subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos to come thank you